Hey guys, VBAD here with another V Plays, and we're going to be taking out the Meteor Tier 7 Premium British Light Fighter. This aircraft sports a decent maneuverability for a multi roll, but it's not really going to be a very maneuverable light fighter. It really has gone all in on the jet powered aircraft concept, and this was the first Allied production jet airframe, so. It has its quirks, and it's also a tier 7. You don't get too many jets at tier 7. I'm going to F2 that. We get a set of four Hispanos kind of flanking either side of the nose cone, so they are centralized. It gives us some good accuracy. We're also limited on overall altitude performance, but at tier 7, this is still considered fairly reasonable. We really don't want to be the first one in there. We can play that game a little bit, but really, we just want to maintain airspeed, let some other people soak up some flak, and we're going to be here to be an assisting gun, especially considering that we're out-tiered. I can turn with these heavies all day, but really we're relying on the range and accuracy of these four Hispanos to be able to get a lot of this work done. Let's see, what else do we got here? JU-88s, that is going to be a major threat aircraft right there, the I-220. So I'm going to vector for an intercept, hopefully retain some of my airspeed here as we close and get these guns on target. We have an enemy on our six. Is it the human controlled aircraft? Yes, it is. Calling for some assistance here. Trying to be the squirrely as we can be but he's actually going to be sporting very similar maneuverability to us. So we're in a bit of a bad position right now. We're also out of engine power. I'm going to see if I can pull him down to lower altitude. I also got him down to lower speed. Now we're back into my altitude regime. See if we can get the nose around on him at all. There we go. Slow descent into my kill zone. Perfect. Oh, I see you. A large enemy force is attacking the military base. Proceed with caution. Dangerous aircraft. I'm going to let him kill me. Although I'm not going to make it easy for him. We've lost both engines. But this aircraft is definitely a hard counter to us. We've managed to put some distance between him and the zone, however, and that's really what we need. Uh, I'm going to spawn at our normal spawn. I'm going to head due north. We're going to try and help out with the missile base yet again. We do have a P-51H on our side, and if he can get the jump on the I-220, he can mess him up pretty good, but the I-220 is going to be a stellar platform with some really good maneuverability. All right, there we go. Managed to pick that up. Where is that light fighter? We just can't see him. This is what I was talking about with some of the skills I use on my bombers. I'd be able to see those guys. If they're spotted on the map, I'd be able to see him, and right now, it's just blank. Uh, that guy. We're maintaining altitude at this point. No need for me to go into that fight. I'm going to go see if I can find something a little bit more appetizing. Like this Key 93. Again, we're using the gun's range to be able to get these shots on a target by hunting them from underneath and then climbing up to engage him. Not only was that a kill on the aircraft, but we also were able to pick up the zone as a result of that. We got some injured aircraft over here, so we might be able to come in and swoop a little bit. Watching the mini-map. He's down. He was already pretty much destined for death. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of a reach to get up to the 288 Alpha, but we do have some decent speed on our side. He's going to be turning, so we got some gun reach here. We're getting some hit reg, not a ton, but we're helping. 
Now here is the other one. He's actually going to sail right over our head. Lifting the nose and aggressive engage. Picked him up. Again, I, I push these aircraft probably past where I should a lot of the time. But I am paying very close attention to the mini-map when I'm doing that. Because I don't want to get caught out. See him early on. We want him injured or otherwise engaged. We just can't match him head to head. He's on Scotch Daddy. Make it clear that he's being chased right now. We got his engine, we lit him on fire. Let's play more like a heavy. Let's get some speed, let's get some distance. And he just got taken out, nice. Unfortunately was at the sacrifice of our ally here. Another kill. IL-10M, fairly thin skin for a ground attacker. Got some good hits, he's on fire. Like I said, not the best maneuverability for a light fighter, but for a multi-roll, pretty good. I kind of default to an aircraft that has bad maneuverability or, you know, deficiency in altitude performance, trying to fly it more like a multi-roll, and you end up being pleasantly surprised when it performs just slightly above what you were expecting. Oh, is this guy back again? Yeah, he is. He's already injured, though. Nice. This guy. He wants some revenge. I don't know if I have Firefighter on this pilot or not. Oh, maybe I do. I do. I actually see the emblem. Should just pay attention. Squall line. This will be it for him if we take him out. Let's dip the nose, get the speed. Oh, he's already gone. Is that an invisible ally? Yeah, the Tempest is invisible. Freaking ghost planes, man. Let me tell you. Yak9U. Never mind. Okay. Well, you know, you kinda you kinda put yourself in that spot. I'm gonna try and help you out in the climb. There we go. Got him. Thought I hit the boost cooler. Where is it? Are we losing the military base? They don't have a lot of planes left. There's a heavy E-93. Get a little bit of our climb on here. Man, these fires, we're getting them. Get in the gun sight. There we go. They don't have much left. That I-210 is somewhere. There's the Tempest. We do have polished skin on this, so we're getting some airspeed up. Come on. Got him, Kazuda. Is he over here? Come on. Where is I? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's over. Oh well. Still, solid match. Uh, McCampbell. Uh, Akamatsu, Kazuda, Conqueror, and Guardian. Sweet. 
head back to the hangar. So yeah, it's a specialized plane, but with the maneuverability and the altitude limitations, you're really relying heavily on the guns, heavily on the speed that you get from a jet at tier seven, but it's not necessarily going to be instantaneous speed. The maneuverability isn't terrible, but it's workable. A lot of people told me, you know, hey, V, run it for speed, run it for, you know, kind of being more of a sniper platform. And what we took out a bomber, two ground attacker, five heavies. We were flying at altitude. We had to really coerce that one uh, heavy fighter down from upper atmosphere, but or up in the stratosphere, but a uh, total of 580 capture points, 15 aircraft killed, uh, managed to take two zones, really the critical one being the military facility because that captured everything else. And yeah, that put us on the top of the team, more than double the next person and line on our team as well. And the same with the enemy team. But with the minimal altitude performance and the maneuverability being eh, not really spectacular, uh, you really have to know how to use this airframe in order to get good results from it. But I've dedicated a lot of time to it because I wanted to showcase it for you guys. And of course, it is fairly iconic being the first production allied jet fighter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.